Hello, this is Broyer. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Endless Space 2. Um, kind of state of affairs. We're still working on Rhea here. We've uh, got it almost fully occupied. And we're working on Debrinia over here. Get it turned into a, an actual system. And we do want to uh, get peace with the Molos at some point in the near future, which... Excuse me, sorry about that. Uh, which I'm not sure if we could do that while we're still trying to occupy. Will it, will it let us keep it? Um, so we may just finish the occupation. It's not going to be that big of a deal. And then we'll look at trying to get peace with them. For now, we'll go ahead and intern and let things roll. You're the caviar of the galaxy. So you want to trade, huh? The Euros wants to trade. We will try, I suppose. Euros. Ah, friend. How are you today? We already have a trade agreement, so I don't know what you want. You just want to trade other stuff? And I guess we can map share with you. Ah. Uh, we'll make an offer. It doesn't seem like you really want to. The families are sad we won't be doing business. We still hope. Then why do you keep telling me a pop-up that you want to trade stuff? I don't get some of the dip diploma words, diplomacy stuff in this game. It's sometimes it's so random and weird. Oh boy. Anyway, um, looks like we're currently in third place overall score-wise. So that's a thing. Oh, let's go ahead and hit in turn. Let things roll. Population boost ended Lumeris. I do think we want to kick this off again just to get these completely up to 10 and let us bring their effect into our other population. So I think that'll be fine. And Mragashi. Up to 6 on the strategic resource here. That's pretty good. Plus two dust per person. We got a lot of people here. Let's do that one. That looks like a pretty solid idea. Plus it's close to the front, so buying out ships would not be completely out of the question. Lasol. Okay, you're the one that's out here by yourself. Um, so let's just keep going on the defensive stuff. I think that will be fine. It'll take us a while to get to you if we needed to. Rhea, infinite supermarkets, nice. Ah, you actually are happy now because you are almost mine. Um, You do have a luxury deposit, so this would actually help a little bit, although it would take us forever to build. So, we also have strategic bosics, but that one would also take us forever to build. So let's something get something that's production related, I should say. Um... Yeah, that looks good. We've already got a strategic deposit here, so that's going to give us a decent amount of production. And we can follow that up with this one. And between the two of those, that should put us in a very, very good spot overall. And we might as well investigate that. In fact, you know what? Let's just investigate that first. Technology finished. Now we can actually go after adamantium, which is good. Um, I don't know. Let's go something military. We haven't done military in a while. I think that'd be a pretty good idea. Go for this one up here to get us some command points and gets us the air ground troops, which, you know what? That wouldn't be too bad. 
Yeah, let's do that. I like it. Forest frontline guy over here. Um, are you completely done out with all of the defensive type stuff? It looks like you are. Production isn't amazing. You have a lot of planets here, although we're not currently colonizing all of the planets. So, let's start with this. But actually, before we actually start doing that one, we're going to colonize another planet. And looks like this desert would not be too bad. Oh, there's actually some ruins here, too. All right, ruins first. Colonize second. And production third. Perseus. So we've got all your anomalies over here done. This one apparently we cannot go after. That's fine. Could start terraforming some stuff. Do have a strategic resource over here that we can get some more of, I suppose, but we're missing the technology for it anyway. Put you up to level two. I don't know if that really helps us in the grand scheme of things. I do have one large, so this one would come in handy in some way. Plus 20 production per planet. Um, start with that one, and let's move to that one. I think that'll be fine. Latest political survey. We're almost entirely militarist. Wow. Too bad we're a dictator and it's not going to matter. Advanced Decay Torpedoes. Alright, that's cool I guess. 150 dust. To level 18. Um, anything else Senate related? More influence on systems. I don't really see anything Senate related, so let's go ahead and take this luxury deposit. I think that's going to be fine. Oh wow, lots of construction finished. Uh, Elma. Uh, what do I want from you? Plus five approval per system level. You're already pretty happy. So don't know that that will come in handy that much. Could increase our, our ecologist approval, but what's our, uh, our influencers say, whatever, but what's the point? Um, guess we're good with everything here, right? As we'll say, that automatically upgraded to the plus two, too, so that's fine. There's really not much for us to do here. Could build more fleets. Uh, I guess we might as well do this one. I mean, it may make a difference at some point. Loran, you finished the two siege craft, so we're going to go ahead and make those into a fleet. We'll move them to the front. And... Well, same thing, not really much for you to work on. All these system improvements, which could be good, but... I mean, I might have other places I want to build those things. You're ecstatic, so that's not going to matter. Eh, work on the ecologist propaganda for now. Um, or, you know, I can start terraforming, I suppose. Like, what do I want you to specialize in? Let's see. Might be a good time to start looking at that. I mean, food, I think I can ignore. So I'm not even going to look at the food. Although Elma is producing a ridiculous amount of food. Um, production is something I do want to include. 
science, dust influence, things like that. So our biggest influence is our home system, which makes sense. Our biggest science is currently Loran. So I think continuing to push Loran to the science side of things would be a really good idea. So on that note, um, if I terraform any of this stuff, would it go to anything that's more science or not? Nope. Nope. Uh, definitely nope. Terraform you to snow. Would that lead me to something that could give me more science? I can't imagine it would. It keeps the science currently the same, though. Like anything else? More population? Anything? Nope. It's more food. So it does not look like that one's a good idea. Um, I guess we could specialize you guys on science just to say, but I don't think it's going to matter. Oh, you know what? That makes sense. I don't have something here yet, so getting at least the plus one per person on science does make a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, we'll go with that. I'm going to take off the specialization for now. I don't want you to keep doing crazy things, but I think I like the fact that you went some direction. Uh, what do I want you to specialize in? I'm not sure. I can at least put something over here. Let's do the production, why not? You are currently content, so more happiness would be good. You do have a lot of strategic resources as well, so more strategic resources would also be good. Well, your production is a little bit tight, so... Start with colonizing that. You're already going to be pretty full pretty soon anyway. And go from there. That is everybody. Oh yeah, I guess I could try and get peace with the Molos. Although they're sending another ship over here. How nice of them. Loran. All right, so you finished that, but it doesn't really <laughs> help me a whole lot. Um, I guess it's a ecologist thing for now. Like if I said, if I get rid of that and said go science, what would you do? Oh, you would actually literally put everything on exos on on science. No, that that makes perfect sense. I hadn't thought about that. Uh, you know what? I should keep doing this more often. Does this automation policy show up when I look at you from here? Mm, no. What about from here? Ah, yes, it does. So I can start specializing these things in certain things. Like our main city. I don't know. I mean, anything. There's really no... You know, I'm not going to specialize in the main one. I think science is something we want to prioritize a lot of. So our top couple of science ones, like Omdar here, I think it's fine. And then as far as production, what would I want to specialize in next? Dust or production? Like you're terrible on dust, but I think going ahead and going dust with you is fine. And let's go dust with you. May not make a difference. May not make any difference whatsoever. But we'll see if it steers some of our development. And then production-wise, definitely you for production, Bragashi. You have become one of our powerhouse productions. And interest, interest is terrible. I guess it's not as bad as I'm thinking. Switch you to production. These other guys are just trying to survive at this point. We can move some of these guys around like you. Wish I could drag and drop you. I can move you to Dabrinia, which I think would be fine. 
Oh, that must be a colony. Never mind. I think everything else is fine for now. These guys specializing, I don't know if that makes much sense since they're kind of weak. I mean, I guess I could specialize the soul in a production, but there's only one planet, so it's not really going to make that much difference. Echius. I mean, you're pretty good on the science. Forest, you're actually pretty good on the science as well. Let's start with that. I don't know. Maybe it was too much specialization, but we'll see if it makes a difference at all. All right, you guys need to come down here and group up with these guys. You guys need to attack that guy. Decisive victory because he ran away. Uh, and then last but not least, let's see if we can get peace with you guys. My friend, tell me what the families can do for you. So you would take a truce. All right. I like that. Would you take giving me a planet? No. Okay, that's fine. I didn't think so, but I figured it was worth a shot. All right, truce it is. Dabrinia has finally been colonized. Nice. All right. Okay, so now you actually have... I don't know why I only said one. That was weird. Maybe it was just because it was a colony. Wow, look at all the stuff that we can give. It's uh, a lot of stuff. Um, well, first things first. You're coming over here. Get us a little bit of a boost. And, like, we want to build everything here. This is going to be one of our best systems in the end. So... How do we want to go about this? I think starting with the drone network just always makes the most sense. In fact, you know what? We're going to buy that. We've got a lot of money. we got stupid money. In fact, we're going to go ahead and buy that as well. Start with those two. Um, specialize this in... This is temperate. Uh, it's not specialized just yet, but we do want to start reaching out, colonizing some stuff as well. All of these huge planets are just going to be hum amazing. Let's look at those two things. That'll be fine. And we're going to start sending population over here, I think, from some of our other systems. Such as Elma. Going to Dobrynia. Take you three guys, and we'll take one of you guys. That'll be fine. And then Loran should also send some people over. We're going to colonize the system as fast as we possibly can. Don't know if it really matters which ones I grab from. Let's grab from this Arctic one. And sure, this, I don't know, over here. All right, so that's a bunch of people moving over. Um, any other buddy else that has a lot of food that can grow back really quickly? Or gosh, you could. And you are currently capped out, so we'll go ahead and send you as well. All right, looks good. Uh, we are going to have to colonize as quickly as possible over there, though. Pretty 
production's good everywhere. Uh, let's go back to Dubrinia for just a second. Because like I said, I do need to start colonizing something. Like there's other steps, probably. Start with that, because actually that is going to... Uh, I'm, just, I'm sending so many people over, I need to make sure I have plenty of spaces for them. All my population's moving over there so fast. It's awesome. Got a lot of food going there at the moment. Level 19. Eh, let's go and do that one. That's fine. Helma. Okay. So we are still growing you a little bit. Really not much else for you to look work on though. Now we need to start researching stuff that gives us some buildings and things. Everybody else is good at the moment. So Debrinia, did you uh you did colonize out, nice. So I got a lot of space for people to sit. Or sit, whatever, <laughs> to live. Um so we're doing those two ruins. Let's go ahead and do these two ruins. Just gonna do everything. All of the anomalies. See what we're dealing with here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put a cut in here. Um, remember a few turns ago they said that the game was gonna end in six turns? I don't think that's gonna happen. We're currently sitting in third place in score overall. I don't know what that means. Um, if I look here says we're first in wonder we might actually start going towards that why not i mean we're producing a decent amount we got decent science our economy is actually okay although we're seventh apparently it says we're first in science which is strange conquest supremacy and we're third on all those oh, it's science might be something we go for Wonders. Um, I don't know. Maybe we can't do the wonders. Maybe we have to. Uh, let's see. What are we looking at? Obelisks. Is that the things right here? So there is an obelisk. So I don't know. We may be going for some of the, the wonders or the science or something like that. See if we can really start shooting for a victory now that we've kind of got ourselves a nice pocket of the world and see what happens. But yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.